Hello world, my name is Rafa Deswande and in this video I'm going to show you how we can load, save images uh, in OpenCV and I'm also going to show you how we can convert between uh, different color spaces. So first of all, let me show you an image I have and this is one of the Eiffel Tower in France. So you can see that it's a little small but it is indeed a full color image. And what we're going to do in this video, we're going to load it up into OpenCV using Python, and we're going to convert it into a grayscale image. And I'm going to sh and we're going to save that image. And I'm going to show you what um, how that is going to work. So let us create a Python script, and I'm going to be creating um, scripts instead of doing it on the interpreter, so that I can upload the scripts and you guys can um, guys can run them. So I'll just create a script. I'll call it gray.py. And I'll just do some basic Python stuff so I can run it. So first things first, we have to import the CV2 namespace, or the module. And uh, how we load images is, is very simple. We just put them in a variable. We call cv2.imread. That stands for image read. And in this, we can just take a single parameter, and that is the name of the image. In this case, it's Eiffel underbar tower dot jpeg, and that should load the image for us. You can always check whether or not an image is loaded by saying um, if image is not none, then you know that you're okay to proceed. But in this case, you know, don't, I don't foresee anything going wrong with this because unless I misspell Eiffel Tower or something. But uh, anyway, that's how we can load images like this. And to convert from RGB to grayscale, there's a really simple command. Um, we can put it into a different variable, call it gray. And we run the command C, CVT color. That stands for convert color. And we have to pass in the image that we want to convert. In this case, it's just IMG. And then now we have to use a constant. And the constant for color space conversion always is prefixed by color underbar. And there are just kind of a lot of naming things that have to go along with these constants, and that's because you know originally OpenCV was a C, C++ library, so when they ported it over to Python, um, they had to just kind of leave these color spaces familiar, so that if you're doing things in C++, if you go over to Python, the constants are all familiar. So when you're doing this color, there's going to be when you look if you were to look this up in the documentation, there's going to be a ton of different constants that start with color underbar. And that's because they want to give you every possible conversion. So in our case, what we want to do is convert from RGB to grayscale. But you have to remember that OpenCV stores things BGR. So the way that this naming works out is you first say where you're starting at. In this case, I'm starting at BGR. And then to, you know, for the word TO, to, and then you have to say what color space you want to go to. In this case, I want to go to grayscale. And this is all it takes. That's kind of how the, uh, the structure of these constants, these color underbar constants are set up. If I wanted to convert um, some other color space to grayscale, I would have to find the constant for that color space, like, you know, HSV to gray. For example, if I were doing something with HSPs. Uh, but anyway, this is all it takes to do these um, these grayscale conversions, right? And actually, if we had a we had an image like an like an RGB image. So suppose that R is my red component, G is my green component, and B is my blue component so red green blue 
um, I can get a grayscale value and kind of the naive way of doing this would be to say take my red value plus my green value plus my blue value divide by three. Oh, I use the same variable there. Let's call it something like S. So if I wanted to get some scalar value from these, the naive approach would be to just sum them up and then take the average. But um, the way OpenCV does it actually is to um, use kind of like a weighted average. So this is the naive approach, but it doesn't really get you a good representation of the um, the actual image. So the actual formula we use, I believe, is 0 0.2989 times red plus 0 0.5870 times green plus 0. 1140 times blue. And this is the formula for converting between RGB and grayscale. And this the reason we use this is because it's more representative of the color spectrum. Uh, but I'm, I won't get too much into that, but I just want to show you that this is actually what happens under the hood when you do these RGB to grayscale conversions. It's actually just passing it through this formula for each pixel um, and you know if you look at this there's not really a way to get from grayscale back to RGB unless currently there's a lot of research going back into how do you recolor images um, but anyway that's how you would do it that's how OpenCV does it actually by uh, converting RGB to grayscale using this kind of weighted average deal so let me go back so now that I have this image I can this grayscale image I can actually save it and um, it's super easy to save, which is another single command. It's called I am right, which stands for uh, image right. And the first argument is going to be the name of the image. So I'll just call mine Eiffel Tower under bar gray JPEG. And then next is you pass in the actual image that you want to save. And remember that these images are actually stored uh, as matrices. Okay, so. What's actually going on is this, this I've converted an RGB matrix into a single channel um, grayscale matrix, and I'm actually saving that matrix to an image. And this is, you know, I'm saving a matrix to an image because images are our matrices, essentially. So I can save this, and I can run it, and see nothing happens. So, but what actually happens is I just create another image. So I can open the folder. And you can see that I have a grayscale image. So here are the two images side by side. Here's one of them. I can find the other. Oh. Yep, so here's one of them, and here's the grayscale image. Kind of side by side right there. And you see that indeed we have converted from RGB to grayscale. And this conversion is going to be super, super helpful. Um, it's going to be one that you're going to do a lot. You're doing a very you know, a lot of the more advanced uh, computer vision stuff you're going to get into, like thresholding or morphology or you know edge detection or things like that. You're going to have to first convert to grayscale because things like edges, for example, doesn't necessarily matter what color they are. They just matters the intensity of the pixel, and that's what grayscale values are. They're really just pixel intensities, not necessarily. The colors associated with them. I mean, we like to think of them as image intensities. So, uh, anyway, in this video, what we did was we converted from we found out how how to read images in as long as they're in the same folder, and we also learned how we can convert from different color spaces using the cv2 dot cvt color function. And I explained to you a little bit of how the RGB to grayscale conversion actually works and how it's not exactly an average, it's kind of like a weighted average. Uh, and I also showed you at the end how to save image files. And what we did was we wrote a little script that'll convert from uh, RGB to grayscale very, 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 very simply. And uh, so we're going to get 
into in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about brightness and contrast. So I hope to see you all in the next video.